Hey guys, today is my birthday, or if I'm posting this tomorrow, which is the day after my birthday, so you're watching this the day after my birthday. Anyway, I'm going to review Calla Marie, and I got her and Perry and Pearl at Toys R Us, or I didn't get them. I had them on hold, but they didn't really hold it, so they put them back on the shelf, and my dad had to find them on the shelf, which I'm so happy that he got the right ones, and he didn't get, like, Posera Reef, because I don't want her... Right now, I'm going to get her later for sure, though. So, I'm going to start with the packaging. So, her packaging is actually smaller than Perry and Pearl's, but not. it's like a normal size Monster High packaging. And she looks so sassy in her artwork. It says, Great Scarier Reef, like the Great Barrier Reef. And it says, Diary, Glows in the Dark. It says, Calamari. It also says, Down Under Ghouls, Daughter of Confidential. So we won't know who she's the daughter of. Then over... Wait, I've got an idea, actually. If they're really... Hmm. If they're really going to do this Monster High and Ever After Head crossover, wouldn't it be cool if she was the daughter of Ursula? That got me thinking. What if... I don't know. I don't really want this crossover to happen, but you tell me. What do you guys think? There you can see her name. I love her name so much. And there's some of her bio. I'll pan slowly. You can see. And then there's the other two girls. I don't have Posera Reef yet. I will get her soon. I have $20 for my grandma, so I guess I want to buy Courtly Jester, though, with that. And here's the synopsis. The ghouls are swimming in troubled waters after a whirlpool pulls them from Monster High all the way to Laguna's house in the Great Scare Reef. But that's only the beginning of their aquatic adventures. Now the ghouls find themselves with fantastic fishy forms and Laguna must face her childhood bully. I wonder who her bully is and her worst fear. Will they continue to make waves or reveal their true bravery and make their way back to stand on dry ground? Really, really cool. And there it shows what glows in the dark. And her sassy, sassy artwork. She has a diary, which says Calamari. And it's yellow. Like, this is yellow. And the spider web right there is yellow. And it says, my secrets are my own life. Mess with my diary, mess with me. And maybe my dad. Ooh, so maybe it's her dad. What if she's the bully? But she seems like a really nice character. And in here, you could read all about her. So I'm just going to show you the All About Me page. Yeah. Her BFFs are Perry and Pearl. And this is really cute. It says, pet. Do Perry and Pearl count? Just kidding. I don't have time for pets. That's really cute. I love that they're friends. So let me bring her over here. So her hair is Kanekalon. I hate it, but it's styled already so I'm not gonna mess with it and it's an orange and a navy blue very cute and it's in a ponytail then her face her eyes she has like this eyeshadow that has like fish scales gills whatnot and she's got blue eyes she's got these lips that have little orange dots on them sorry if it's not showing up well then her ears are so cute they're like octopus ears and they're adorable I love the earrings they're very like very like I don't know like African and then she's got four arms which are cool and she feels very stiff and I like that and at the end of her hand she has like the sh the suction cups can't talk typical me and she's got like three bracelets then she's got this very cool top and a bra underneath and the belt. And I really like this bra. It's very cool. And I think if she were like in a normal Monster High body, it would be like a older sister body because she does have the bigger bust. And I do love this part of her tail. It's very nice and it's articulated right there. And she has these little fins on the side. Then to the bottom, you can move these all around. They're on ball joints. And they're yellow. And she's got pink tentacles. 
which these are the ones that glow in the dark. And she stands very well on this, so. Then the back, that's her. She's very gorgeous. I love everything about her. She's probably now one of my favorite Monster High. I didn't think I would like her as much as I did. Um, the camera and pictures don't do justice to how gorgeous she really is. I really hope you get her. She's been showing up at Toys R Us stores, and thanks for watching. Like, comment, and subscribe. Next up is Perry and Pearl.